What's up, nerdlings? What's up, nerdlings? Do you nerd for VGM? What's up, guys? This is Jay from the Game Chasers, and you are watching Do You Nerd? VGM is Video Games Monthly, a monthly subscription service that sends video games straight to your door for you to keep. It's simple enough. You go in, you pick a tier of how many games you want, you decide which consoles and handhelds you want games for, then you populate a list of all the games you already have, keep it up to date, and they don't send you duplicates. We happen to have two boxes because where were we in February? We was in Mexico. <laughs> That's right. We actually had a little bit of a vacation. And we implore you to please check out the videos that we shared of that. If for no other reason, if you happen to have been cooped up all this time, it's a great way to feel like you got out there, got to explore the resort and go on some excursions with us. All right. Well, let's tear into these boxes. First of all, February. Urgh. You do it. Oh, that's a man. <laughs> <laughs> a man! Something Lady Lacey likes to do is uh, see if I can guess what game it is with some of the weirdo hints she gives me. All right, there's your card reminding you to populate that list, update it so you don't get duplicates, and post on social media. You could win some games. Free gift. <laughs> That's right. I've even seen some people's unboxings from February, <laughs> the Super Mario Brothers movie trading cards. <laughs> no right. gum? No gum. Oh, Aw, no hashtag eat the gum. Uh, so real quick, are any of you fans of the Super Mario Brothers movie? Lady Lacey is, you know what? I like the movie. I realize it is not a good representation of Mario itself but I think it's a fun, cheesy movie. Get over it. If you do <laughs> separate it as much as you possibly can from the Super Mario Brothers games, it is such a weird, weird, bizarre movie. Who doesn't want to see a Goomba dancing in an elevator? <laughs> Looks like we've got Scapelli Sabotage. Oh, those, those bad guys. We've got a parallel dimension and it's showing the little dinosaurs fighting defungusine mario mario and luigi mario uh. okay, look, how many mario are there between the two of you there's three it's, it's mario mario and luigi mario the tables are turned oh we got koopa and the uh d evolver the boom boom bar see that's what i'm saying little easter eggs like that like With boom big, boom was it big bertha in there big bertha <laughs> yoshi to the rescue with daisy hey regardless of what you think of the movie yoshi was adorable he was cute and massing for invasion there's koopa with his goombas Oh, is this like a GQ looking? Oh yeah, you pose? know Mario with the mushroom. Oh. He's got a watch out. He's got a growing mushroom, huh? Sega head will stroke the mushroom. Oh. If you want to learn more about that, go to Live at the Arcade over <laughs> on Retro Gamer Boys channel. All right, you ready for our ups? Yes. Putting. Two up. Oh, double not Tony box. <laughs> um, probably got a whole bunch of that shit sitting around because it's dumb and nobody wants it, right? Why don't you jam some of them in my next box? <laughs> so this is a Nintendo 64. We've got some uh, Power Rangers doing a little surfing on here. The thing is, with Power Rangers, I can picture them surfing anyway, so I can picture a Power Ranger surfing game. <laughs> Those are Power Rangers. They look like Power Rangers. There's the Pink Ranger and the Green Ranger. I didn't see what that one in the we back was. We have Wave Race 64, and this is the Japanese card. Now, this would be very curious if uh, old Waves and Games Peter himself were still around, because he loves wave race 64 
so he would be the go-to guy to tell us if and what differences there are between the American and Japanese versions. Well, we have another N64. Ooh. This is another sports game, but it's with something that goes along with the cards we got. So a Mario sports game? Okay. I'll allow it because the Mario sports games are pretty fun. And he's going to cause quite a racket. That must be tennis with, <laughs> with that kind of pun. <laughs> All right, so Mario Tennis. Nice, nice. Uh, and it does have a 64 here, so was there a difference between like Mario Tennis and Mario Tennis 64? Plus, I think one was just called Mario's Tennis, apostrophe S. Next, we have a tiny game. So, some kind of handheld. Mm -hmm. Maybe Game Gear. We get a lot of Game Gear from them. Nope, it's Nintendo. Okay, so Game Boy, Game Boy Advance. Yes, Game, Game Boy, Boy Advance. Color, Game Boy Advance. And think of the theme to our wedding. Pac-Man. But me. What was I at the wedding? Ms. Pac-Man, until I made you a Mrs. Pac-Man. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Ms. Pac-Man in Maze Madness. Hey. If it's a Ms. Pac-Man game, I'm all on board with that. So we've got a uh, Famicom game here. Okay, which you love to get oftentimes I do. because of the colored now, cartridges. This one is weird. You've got a Goonie fighting um, a giant bubblegum monster on the front of this thing. There was a Goonies 2 game, but I don't know if that's what the cover looked like in Japan. <laughs> no yeah, I could definitely see that. Spelunker. But see, this card is weird because on the front, it looks like there's a light. Oh, that's the, uh, it's like vision. That's the Mind Stone. And then on the back, I've not really seen this too often with like a picture of the gameplay on the Yeah, back. that's pretty cool. I like that. You know, I think we had a U.S. release of Spelunker. <laughs> but there was a very interesting or annoying mechanic. I think that you had limited air, like oh, a limited oxygen fun. supply. Timed yeah. games. Yeah, whenever it comes we to love any those. kind of timer. Although I guess, is that a timer or a resource management? <laughs> the last game in here is a Lord game. So is that a Lord of the Rings? Yes. <laughs> I didn't know where to go with that one. <laughs> it was either Lord of the Rings or one of the old Bible games. A Nintendo GameCube game, which I'm very happy to get because GameCube games have been skyrocketing in price. Lord of the Rings, The Return of the King. First and foremost, I would like to note that this is the original packaging because it has the official Lord of the Rings movie trilogy sticker on the front. No booklet, though, but we, we got the sticker. I guess that's the exchange. <laughs> so they made some uh, some pretty fun games, although I think I played most of them on, like, PS2 for the Lord of the Rings movies. Did you guys play any of them, and what did you think? This was a Mario or a Nintendo box. I mean, we had Mario movie and then all Nintendo. If they would have put a Sega game in here with those Mario cards, it probably would have exploded. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, first of all, leave some comments down below on what you think of any of these. Plus, Lord of the Rings, I believe... Legolas, that's all I care about. Co-op, one to two players simultaneously. Can I play as Legolas? Mm -hmm. If I can't play as Legolas, I don't want to play. Yes, you can. I want to play with Legolas. I mean, play as Legolas. Well. All right, so there is February's box. Future Tom, do something amazing right here to segue us into March's box. March box. Better be a leprechaun in here. March Madness! All right, you know what? Double the boxes. I'm going to change this up a little uh -oh. bit. 
<laughs> so, here's what I'm going to do. I think I know what you're going to do. I am going to tell you the name of the game, and I want you to very briefly try to guess something that would probably be on the label. Okay, I thought you were going to describe it to me and make me guess the name. I was going to say, it's not going to go very well. Okay, well, first of all, you got your card. <gasps> yes, you must take pictures of all your stuff and put it on social media and update your list. And then you've got your ups. Oh, a twofer. A double Not Tony box. Oh, wait. Since this is two boxes, we got quadruple the Not Tony box. <laughs> That's like 16 walls. Are you ready for I'm your I'm ready. Gift? What's the free gift? I like stuff. Ooh, a rubber band. <laughs> Here we go. Put my eye on that thing. Play the past into the future. So your first game is Nintendo 64, Excite Bike 64. There's gonna be a kid on a bike. What kind of bike? An Excite Bike. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> a dirt a bike. Just, 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 there you go. <laughs> nice. you, you got there. This is fun. <laughs> Quick, give us a tip about Excite Bike 64. Don't play it. It's hard. <laughs> Super Nintendo game, simply called Toys. Super Nintendo Chalmers. Toys, huh? Toys. There's going to be a green army soldier on it. Mm, I'm sorry, that is incorrect. Oh, that toys with Robin Williams from the movie. Ooh, that movie was freaking weird. Quick, give us a toys Super Nintendo tip. Watch the movie, it's better. <laughs> you <laughs> may be right with that. <laughs> Can't argue that one. All right, we're going tiny. Oh. You've got a Game Boy game uh -huh. called Super RC Pro-Am. So there's going to be a little tiny RC car on there or an RC boat. Rem uh, all right, here's your chance to score some bonus points. What color is it? Red. She's good. <laughs> She's good. <laughs> Can you tell us about uh, Super RC Pro-Am? Go in a circle. <laughs> <laughs> Go in a circle. Okay, next. <laughs> Advertise stuff. <laughs> Advertise stuff. Go in a circle. The cartridge is even smaller oh, than Game Boy no. Advance. This could be a tricky one. Power Rangers SPD. What's on that label? An information on how to get rid of that STD. No, SPD. Oh. <laughs> the Green Ranger. Nope. The Blue Ranger. No. A Power Ranger. No. Zordon. No. Our Alpha 5. No. A Army Ranger. No. Nothing. <laughs> Nothing at all. <laughs> Nothing at all. Seriously, though, there's an ointment to get rid of this. <laughs> 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 All right, your last game is a GameCube game, and it is based on a series of unfortunate events. Lemony Schnicket? There's yes. a Lemony Schnicket on the what, front of it. What, what would that even be? A Describe man that like, looks like Jim Carrey with a pointy chin. That's Lemony Schnicket, I <laughs> think. <laughs> it's Cal Olaf. You're half there. Anything else? Olaf was a snowman. Oh, look at that. I've been impaled. <laughs> the children. See, it's Jim Carrey with a pointy... I told you you were halfway there. Here's oh, the other the half, the kids. Nobody cares about the kids. 
<laughs> All right, so uh, fun movie. I never hear anyone talk about the movie, but I thought it was pretty fun. To be fair, I didn't read the books. Maybe that's why people don't talk about it. Maybe the books were better. <laughs> that old chestnut. But again, another GameCube game. So adding to that collection without breaking the wallet. Mm -hmm. And here's what I'm most curious about. Free Childs, a series of unfortunate events, movie ticket inside. Is it in there? No, it's not going to be in there. It's oh. in there. <laughs> wow. Whoa. That's, oh, look. It's a check. You sign it like a check. <laughs> um, expires January 31st, 2005. Hmm. There's the precautions booklet, but no instruction manual. But the ticket was in there. That's cool. I actually didn't expect that to be in there. So I tell you what, here is an interesting question for all of the game collectors out there when you have an instance like this. And it has that note on the front that says there's a movie ticket or something like that. Is it CIB without the movie ticket? Maybe someone redeemed it. I say no. You say no? Because that's what it came with. If you had a copy of this that did not talk about the movie ticket, that's but had the manual and everything else. Yes, that else. would be complete. Mm, that's, my, that's my thoughts. All right. Well, do you know what theme I see with this one as well? Nintendo! Man, they must have had some Nintendo stuff that they needed to get rid of. <laughs> <laughs> Love getting another Super Nintendo game for one. Uh, I hope it's all right. Super Nintendo, I'm really hoping. Which box do you think was better, February or March? This one had a better variety. Oh, because there was like one from each system, there you rather go. than the last one where there was multiples of the same system. I like variety. Good answer. My answer is yes. <laughs> well, let me ask you this, nerdlings. Since you had a two for this time, did you like it better with me describing the games and having him guess, or him <laughs> making me guess what's on the cover? <laughs> Well, there's only one thing left in each box. Looks like we get to double up. Oh, yeah, that's great. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right. Oh, I made the games fall over. Well, nerdlings, there you have it. VGM <laughs> Video Games Monthly Unboxing for the months of February and March of 2021. Please leave some comments down below on any of the games that you saw here today. Uh, let us know about the movie, about the ticket, the Mario Brothers movie, Lord of the Rings. We got all kinds of movie we stuff, did. actually. We, yeah. we did, yeah. We did. Uh, but yeah, give the video a like if you happen to like it. Be sure to subscribe, hit that notification bell, and we might just be on time next month with the next box. <laughs> Don't forget to like us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Head over to Tee Public because we have merchandise over there. Hit us up on the Retro Refresh. They've got merchandise, too. And if we like it, we nerd it for movies. Because I like do, movies. Yeah. Oh no. What a series of unfortunate events. Oh, on that note, bye, nerdlings. Yeah, I'm out. <laughs> double the boxes, double the fun. Look at VGM. Yeah.